Hello everybody, welcome back to another reading. This is going to be for Capricorn. Okay. What do we have for Capricorn? Messages from Spirit. Capricorn, could I ask you a question? What the fuck are you so angry about? Like, deadass, what are you so angry about? Why are you so mad? Don't make us put a cape on you. You're going to be super mad, for real. Maybe because you feel that you lost your passion. That you could have done more in life, in relationships. Feeling very unbalanced, uncomfortable. But see, here's the deal. It doesn't have to be that way, Capricorn. You can reflect and you need to understand that regardless of how old or young you are, you are the captain of your ship, period. Because I see you have yourself all frustrated over here. And there's a lot of pain here. A lot of unhealed trauma. And a hunger. What's the hunger for? See, you have this hunger for spiritual knowledge. For energy. But see, for abundance as well. Money. That's not always a good sign, Capricorn. Okay? Okay. I feel that you need to heal from some past traumas, uh, maybe childhood traumas that I don't think you realize are, <laughs> look at this, I don't think you realize, conscious, reverse, I don't think you realize that this is what's stopping your movement. This is what's stopping you from being happy is honestly you, you Capricorn, are stopping you from being happy and nobody else. And that's real. Okay. It's time to figure out who you are. Why you're so unhappy, so sad. Because there's this blank space inside you from this trauma that replays in your head and your mind that you need to cleanse out. Because there is sweetness, happiness here. But you need to surrender all this anxiety, this distrust and just allow yourself to grow just stop and listen to yourself to your spirit and drop this fear of what everybody else thinks of you who gives a shit what everybody else thinks of you what really matters is at the end of the day you live with you you have to be in your head you have to be in your body so do you love you do you like being angry unhappy because real talk, you, you wonder why all the time. Why am I so angry? Why am I so unhappy? Because you need to heal. It's all within you. Look at that. What I say? You're literally like affecting your own happiness. Maybe because you feel like you weren't strong enough or... Things that you wanted to do just weren't possible, but they always were. You just didn't try. There was a need for trust and to release control. I feel I'm talking to a Capricorn that has some huge control issues that they need to release. You need to let love flow through you and really experience what faith is. Put a death to these old places, people, patterns, memories, traumas. Maybe it's time for a new way of thinking, new way of doing things. Because if you do decide to change your way of thinking, your way of doing things, the way you see the world, I feel like it could be very magical. And if not, it could be very, continue to be very disruptive, keep you in this unhappy, unpeaceful state. You've got to pick yourself up. Be determined. For some of you, you're getting messages in your dreams about this. Feeling very isolated, but you're doing that to yourself. And I feel that you intuitively know that. And I'm going to tell you, like, when you, when you do that kind of stuff and isolate yourself and destroy your own happiness, your own life, you... I mean, at the end of the day, you have nobody to blame but you.
period. And I say that with all the kindness in my heart, okay? It's time to heal, Capricorn. It's time to... Look at that. Right now. Why wait another day and be miserable? Heal right now. Activate the true beauty within you that you're capable of and drop this tension, this fighting, this inner battle and this outer battle because I feel you not only fight with yourself but you fight with others and it's because you're unhappy because you make yourself that way. It's time to, to investigate and explore more meaningful things that don't have to do with money because I feel that if money's all you're focused on, that ends up being the root of all evil at that point, okay? It's time to put your plans in motion. Think about something other than that. What did I say? Think about something other than money. Because once you find what you're truly passionate about, you're going to achieve greatness. And greatness is a sound mind, peace, being able to float around and be happy for no reason. I mean, let's be real. That's the biggest goal in the world. It's time to look toward the future and drop the past. Definitely let go. A need to control everything. Let go of secrets. For some of you, lies. Because I feel that, that you are loved. You just push everybody away. You're destroying your own structure and clarity. And strength comes in numbers unless you are one of a kind, which is very rare. You have the authority to change this whenever you want, change your perception, but I feel that you're refusing to, oh my gosh, refusing to focus on things other than abundance right now, and that, that's not where it's at. But you just keep wondering why everything feels so, like, trapped, so crappy, so hard, so horrible. I'm telling you right now, it's no mystery. You need to find and hold the vision of what you're passionate about, what makes you happy. And this is how you're going to find this balance. Because right now you're in this world where you feel like you don't shine or you're not enough but you are enough get to the root of your problems why are you so angry why are you so sad why are you so depressed why are you so uncomfortable are you making that uncomfortable for some of you you could be in a relationship or a marriage and you feel uncomfortable but did you realize that it's because you're not watering your grass. I'm telling you, this, this money shit has got to stop. Because if you look at this, it's making me think of Snow White and a poisonous apple, right? There's got to be a change here, Capricorn. Most definitely. What else for Capricorn? What else for Capricorn, please? So weird. I've got this these people sitting in front of my car that are... <laughs> you see all the traffic? It's so weird. I can't even... Maybe there's a need to... It's like you want to control everything and you want to be like the, the queen or the king of the castle. But here's the deal. Like, you just can't. You can't control everything definitely a huge emphasis on figuring out what the root of your anger is because I feel like your time's running out to find this out before you're just stuck in your ways which is horrible who wants to live like that just shitty stuck in their ways I got these people literally sitting in front of me looking at me laughing like haha fuck you right seriously fucking idiots Go in the store and mind your business, right? I'm telling you. Bitches be hating all day everywhere. 
you need to understand that the impossible is totally possible, okay? It truly is. Maybe for some of you, um, you need to quit drinking, smoking, doing drugs. And believe in yourself. Step into the unknown. Be the leader that you want to be. Because I'm hearing the nonsense has definitely got to stop, okay? All right, well, these fucking weirdos will go away. And they're like, weird as shit. I didn't even cap you down, bro. Like, I can't do it. <laughs> but, uh, all right, everybody. I'm going to go. I will see you later. Peace, love, and light. Bye, guys.